the board. Uh, the Department of Public Works will begin the collection of leaves on October 31st, and their program will end on December 4th. And I know that they've been out working all uh, over the weekend to clean up leaves that are plugging drains and causing flooding. So uh, that's uh, an important function to get rid of those little pesky devils before they cause any more trouble. Sidewalk repairs on High Street have been completed by the department. Uh, street replay, repairs are ongoing on Ann's Lane, and there is uh, periodic lane, lane closures involved. So please uh, keep a sharp eye on what's going on there. Uh, zoning amendments, petitions may be submitted starting November 14th until December 14th. Regular petition articles other than zoning may be submitted at any time up until January 10th, 2017. The town continues to work with our engineers on the development of plans for the replacement of the Church Street Sewer Force Main and should be ready for presentation to the, at the coming town meeting. Uh, by memo, I've requested the selectmen to review the street lighting agreements with the state on Route 1A. And that's it, sir. Okay. Questions, Rick? Um, now, could you just give us a little bit more information of the last thing that you just said about the street lights? The town has a number of agreements that it has signed back in the last millennium uh, dealing with street lights with the state. Um, they were taking some away. Well, no, actually, uh, there have been some eliminated since then because of various functions that have taken place. Uh, but we have a contractual obligation with the state on... Uh, the 19, I believe it was the 1981 reconstruction of Route 1A uh, for a number of lighting fixtures and, and f facilities that were located, as well as the underground conduit to feed them and the cables. Um, that was a 10-year agreement that expired in 1991, and then it automatically renews every, every March of each year for an additional year. So we, we've <coughs> tasked that to the board and given you the information. There are also a number of other agreements that were signed with the state, and I gave you a list of all the lights that they include, and it's virtually everything on Route 1, or 1A, excuse me. Um, they are 10-year increments on the contracts, and when they expire, they're automatically renewed for an additional 10 years. Uh, I gave you all that material because we're about to start the process of with the state of working on the reconstruction of Route 1A, and certainly that should come into play discussions on those items when that occurs. So you'll you'll know what's what specifically as far as the agreements are concerned and what should be done with them or how they should be changed. Thank you. Mr. B. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Welch, thank you. Great report. And just going a little bit more global and expanding on our request uh, for the uh, director with um, municipal platforms that contract with with the town in a review with that. Uh, the lighting raises another issue. Uh, and if there are other, and uh, I don't need an answer, we don't need an answer. But uh, anybody that is a, a municipal platform uh, that has contracts with the town, if we could uh, get a uh, uh, synopsis of that for the uh, board's review and uh, to make sure that these are uh, equitable, both to the people that are, are sharing our services and our, and our infrastructure, and certainly to the, uh, the Hampton taxpayer. I think it's prudent that we uh, review those, look at those. That would include lighting. Not only is it just lighting with the state of New Hampshire, if there are other entities that, that uh, have lighting contracts, uh, sewer contracts, any, any, any firm, uh, to include the state using our uh, uh, recycling or refuse plant, mm -hmm. if we could get a, uh, a list of those uh, as time permits. Uh, and, and if the board has no objection, if we could get that on as a document, that would be great. And thank you for your diligent work and, and discovering that and going to work on that with your department heads. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Regina? Thank you. I have nothing, Mr. Timmer. I just, when you say, just for the public, so yes. you maybe right. explain, when you say regularly petitioned articles other than zoning may be submitted, what is, what is a regular petitioned article any anything that a, a citizen can think up wants to have the town do but that by that's legal of course um, and and they need to do a petition article they need 25 signatures of 25 registered voters and and I always try to caution folks because when we get those articles in here 
a number of them are not certified as being legally registered voters. So we suggest people, instead of getting 25, get 35 or 40 for signatures. Always ask people if they are registered voters. Uh, there is a, a format for that, that, that that's, in fact, in the town report. Um, you can submit any of those things that deal with appropriations or special projects they wish the town to undertake, studies, anything. Uh, and as long as the town meeting passes it, that will be accomplished in the following year. But it needs to go on the warrant. The nice thing about a petition article, I guess, from the standpoint of folks who wish to submit them is nobody can change them. Only the town, only the deliberative session of town meeting can change that petition warrant article. Okay, very good. Thank you. Anything else for the town manager? 